Now, the question is, what is an RCFE? The actual definition is it's a residential care facility for elderly in a residential area. Now, it's a living arrangement in which people with special needs, especially older people with disabilities, reside in a facility that provides help with everyday tasks such as bathing, dressing, and taking medication. Uh, essentially, it's a house that has caregivers in it, and it cares for uh, elderly people that need the assistance. It's kind of a really cool model. Now, it's called, I call it an RCFE because when I got started, I started in California. Um, in California, it's called RCFE. Now, if you look at different states, different states call them different things. They may call them assisted livings. They may call them uh, adult family care homes, adult family homes. Um, and really, there's a lot of different names uh, for these facilities throughout the different states. However, an RCFE is an RCFE. It is one of those things. It, it just different name by different states. So just remember that. Now, some of the differences I mentioned earlier, you know, why wouldn't they want to live in an assisted living? Well, here's a couple differences between an RCFE and uh, a nursing home and assisted living. Now, nursing homes, what do you guys initially think of when you hear of a nursing home? Now, I know, I know you can't uh, raise your hand and I can't see you or you can't uh, talk back and forth to me, uh, but... A nursing home, I'm sure you guys are all thinking, okay, a nursing home, the biggest thing I know about nursing homes is when you walk in, it smells funky. And it does. That's that's kind of the biggest thing for me as well, and it's a huge pet peeve is when I open the door to a nursing home and I walk in, it's like a big, giant green fist just smacking me in the face. And it, it's, it's terrible. Uh, they're large. They're, they're commercialized places. Uh, it's, it's got 24-hour nursing care. So it's a huge, huge difference. You know, nursing homes uh, are typically in uh, more commercial areas, so there's a lot more um, office space or, uh, or stores around uh, just because it's not in that residential setting. Now, the same kind of thing goes for the assisted living facilities. It's, again, you know, what do you notice when you first walk in? And unfortunately, it's kind of the same situation with assisted living facilities. You walk in, and you're getting slapped by the smell as soon as the door opens. And, you know, it, it's, it's sad that people have to live in those kind of conditions. Uh, again, assisted living facilities, those are large. They're in commercial areas. And there's typically a lot less care in these facilities uh, in the assisted living facilities, there's obviously different levels of care provided. Uh, the majority of them are independent living, um, or they do have some nurses on staff that can provide care. Uh, however, the, the nurse-to-resident ratio is extremely high. It's, it's nothing like what we provide and what I hope you guys will be able to provide too if, uh, if this is kind of the business that you want to get into. Now, the care and the things that we provide – um, it's, it's fairly simple. It's, we provide a room, supervision, help with daily living, uh, cooking, cleaning, laundry, activities. Um, we put together uh, special events for these people. We, we really want them to feel like they're at home, uh, but with more uh, things to do around them. You know? And also having that 24-hour supervision is very, very important because what we've started seeing in this day and age is – because of the economy, because of the way things are progressing, people are are living in their homes for as long as they physically can. So back in 1998, when we first started with these businesses, uh, we we st we had residents that were able to pretty much do everything for themselves. They were able to walk around. I mean, literally everything. They were able to do it for themselves. Um, they were kind of coming to the home the homes more for a uh, social aspects. Maybe their family was out of state. Uh, they didn't have any more kids around. Their spouse passed away, and so they just really wanted some companionship. Now, however, in since 2004, we started seeing a different trend. The people coming to these homes are no longer coming for social aspect. They're coming because they need to. They're coming because either, again, their spouse passed away or their family isn't around, but they can no longer stay at the homes by themselves without being a risk to themselves or others around them. And so they're coming to these homes because they need that supervision, because they need that care. And so we're really proud to provide this kind of service and really just create an environment that is as close to home as possible, um, yet providing the, the amenities and the supervision that they would get from a facility.